Okay, you guys, well, we're about ready, so until everybody gets on, I'll just play a little music. I don't want to hear about this part. I drowned myself with alcohol. That's not all, but I was 17. <laughs> when I was 25, I barely knew I was alive. Hi, Debbie. I'm just keeping, I'm playing my own entertainment music till we get started. It was the summer of my life. I didn't know if I survived. Anyway. <laughs> okay, that's the entertainment for the morning or the evening. I see we have a lot of people jumping on. Uh, what do you need to do there? Oh, got messed up. Okay, well, I'm going to kind of start us off here. Um, we have quite a few people that are going to join, and um, I'm real excited to be doing this event. Um, <clears throat> hi, Debbie. Basically, a lot of you that are my patients know that about a year and a half, two years ago, we were doing a lot of classes with the ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting. We were having some amazing results. A lot of you are here who attended that those classes, and... Um, we were seeing people lose a lot of inflammation in their body, get out of lots of pain, get off a lot of the medications that they were on, and then um, COVID hit, and we basically had to stop. And part of the thing that um, happened, it says broadcast failed. Um, part of the thing, maybe just come around this way. You know, what happened is we got hit was a lot of information and a lot of stuff that were, was affecting our ability to go out and work, to produce with a lot of understa and understandable fear of that we were being attacked by something we couldn't see, feel, touch, taste, or even know if it was around us or not. The main thing is that, you know, there's one thing I know is the degree of complexity is pretty much proportional to the degree of non-confront. And what I mean by that is, when you have a lot of complexity, a lot of stuff going on, there's usually a lot of hidden agendas involved. And one side or the other, the only thing we have is to get ourselves healthy. All we can do is improve our immune system because at the end of the day, there is going to be no magic pill. And if it does come, it's going to be too late. So uh, that's why I'm doing this. I, I really want to help people jumpstart their immune system, get their bodies as strong as it can be by um, looking at what you're putting in your body. So this 15-day challenge that we're going to be presenting today is basically designed to help you take charge of your health. So um, <clears throat> one thing I want to do is, you know, a lot of you know that I published a book in February. It's called A New Slant on Life. I mean, A New Slant on um, New Hope for Diet, for what is it? New Hope for Sciatica, that's what it is, sorry. And I had an uh, author's note in the book. The book got censored from Amazon because of my author's note. And I want to read you the author's note because, you know, finally I had to take it out and we got the book up. But when you listen to this, I think you'll understand, you know, what my concern is and, and why I really want to help everybody get as healthy as I can. So I'm going to put on my cheaters here because even though my next book is called um, Reversing the Biological Clock, I still haven't got my eyes fixed yet. So here we go. It says, as I sit in the process of writing this book, perhaps the biggest wake-up call in modern history has plagued our planet. Even as I sit and write these words, citizens of our country, and in fact the whole world, are quarantined or confined to their own homes. Entire cities, even countries, have been shut down, and all non-essential business have been 
um, asked to temporarily close their doors. Remember, this is February. The deadly coronavirus had arrived and with it came mass hysteria. The powers that be, governments, nations, our own CDC and FDA, let alone the World Health Organization, has been turned on its ear. The coronavirus, invisible to the naked eye, has proven the biggest terrorist of all. It is almost like our planet has been invaded from outer space and that we are defenseless to the attacking aliens. People are scrambling for supplies. Things such as common as toilet paper and paper towels have, are nowhere to be found. Remember when that was going on? Shopping carts had been commandeered and slammed together as frantic citizens were vying for, for position, grabbing boatloads of supplies off the shelves of local grocery stores, often leaving none and showing no regard for their neighbor. Now that might be a little over dramatic, but there was a point that we were, we didn't know what the future would bring. Not since the last world war has the world realized such a threat to survival. Now here's the cool part, yet perhaps out of the rubble and ruin of, of an inept and now defenseless healthcare system will rise a new awareness in the minds of the peoples of Earth. For far too many years, we have depended on Big Farm to save the day with the next new magic pill or miracle pill, yet the invasion of Corona has left defenseless, left us defenseless, or are we? Did you know that the wisest and most powerful physician who ever walked this planet lives right inside of you? It reminds me of the 1939 movie called The Wizard of Oz. For the entirety of the movie, Dorothy was searching for a way home. She evaded wicked witches, flying monkeys, and fell victim to patches of wild intoxicating poppies, while the whole time she had the power to find her own way home. As Glinda, the good witch of the North, would finally reveal all she had to do was click her heels together of her ruby slippers and repeat, there's no place like home, there's no place like home. Inside every one of us dwells an incredible innate intelligence. It has a purpose and that purpose is to survive. And for eons, this innate intelligence has ensured that we do survive. It wasn't until the advent of massive pharma pharmaceutical cartels who put profit above people that we started down this path of magic pill dependence. Don't get me wrong, I realize how important modern medicine has been and added to our survival and our overcoming of hitherto overwhelmed overwhelming epidemics, but perhaps this is a paradigm shift. It is time for the individual to take back control of their own health. It's time for us to take back our own health. And through the pages of this book, I discuss different ways. So that's kind of what motivated me to decide to put something together that I could help individuals within 15 days take back control of their life, take back control of their health, and they can do it um, simply, by, for the most part, by changing the food that they put in their body, um, getting rid of toxins in their environment that will go over some of them that are in your house right now, that are affecting your immune system, adding to the toxic load. The whole thing is we want to boost our immune system. And if we can boost our immune system, doesn't matter what comes at us, we will be able to fight it off a lot better than if we don't. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, share my screen here and get to this little presentation that I have. And thank you all for being here. Um, I, wanna, I wanna introduce you to uh, in my incredible staff, Taylor Woods is here, and also Liz Burkhart, who's not on the screen here, but they helped me put this together. And they are both admins here. This, this program we have, if you choose to do it, is gonna be so helpful for you. Uh, these two are gonna make sure you get what you need done. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. So the 15 day challenge, and the purpose is to boost your immune system. And um, you know, we're gonna teach you, and we're gonna go over a lot of this tonight, um, what clean, ke the ketogenic diet is done correctly, intermittent fasting, cellular detoxification, diet variation, and one other thing is called ancient healing strategy strategies. So um, that's basically, um, what our goal is tonight. I'm going to give you so much information on this. I want to encourage you to become a health rebel. What I mean by that is, you know, a lot of people my age, we grew up in the 50s, 60s and 70s. And, you know, we questioned everything. We questioned authority. We questioned our parents. We questioned anything. And we grew up to a point now where we don't question stuff anymore. We kind of go down this path and go, well, what do I do? What kind of pills do I take? What, what's necessary? There's so much information out there with so many dead ends that I think we got to question it 
but what we need to do is take our health into our own hands, and I'm gonna help you do that. This is a picture of my mother-in-law. She's now 99, healthy as can be. She is uh, one of the health rebels, one of the first ones, World War II veteran captain of the WAC. And I'm gonna play a little, oh, by the way, that she bought me a pistol for Christmas several, a few years ago, back when, 90, when she was 96, so 40, three or four years ago. She goes, Duncan, I wanna go shoot that gun. So I took her to a range and I put the bullets in the gun and I was trying to show her what the target was by making sure that I shot all around it very far and wide. So then Beth takes the gun from me, Captain Montgomery, holds the gun there, boom, boom, boom. Two bullseyes, you can see them right in the middle. And the third one was touching the rim. She put the gun back and said, okay, I, I wanna go home now. So she's very tough. But uh, you know, the, the, I wanna play a video of her and what she did as a health rebel and why she's 99 years old on no medications and is healthy, has all the brain power in the world. The, the picture you can see of her being overweight is when she moved uh, to, to visit us. She moved into my wife and my house um, about four years earlier and she was 35 pounds heavier. She'd been living on the food that they give people in rest homes and plenty of it. And uh, she got in with us. She started eating organic foods. We got her on the ketogenic diet. And I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit of her story here. It's very short, but this is what she told the doctor when he said he wanted her on a medication. She didn't just take it for granted, she questioned it. Here we go. And I took my blood pressure four times a day for four days. And then I looked at the results there and I didn't see any high blood pressure. And so I thought I will send this to my doctor and uh, this will prove that I really do not have high blood pressure. And sure enough, he had to admit that it was true. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but then once and I took my blood pressure. Okay, so that, that was my mother-in-law. She's an amazing person. She, they, they wanted to put her on prednisone for something. She took it one day, took it back, and basically threw it at the doctor and said, this stuff makes me feel like terrible. I don't want it. Another one of our successes is a gentleman, after three weeks of just changing the food he put in his body, we were asking for success stories. Dean raised his hand and said, I was taking 40, 800 milligram ibuprofens a day, I mean a week, for, for years because of the pain I was in. By just changing the food that he put into his body, he um, was actually got off all of the medication. And it's pretty amazing. So my goal for you is to take a, a, a look at what your, what your goals are, what your purposes are. I mean, so many of you might be uh, suffering from chronic pain, fatigue, brain fog, weak immune system, which is really one of the main purposes of doing something here. Anxiety, you know that we're rated, we're the, we are the most overweight country in the industrialized world out of all the industrialized nations. I'll show you a slide on that in a minute. Weight loss resistance, depression, mood swings, and cravings. So what is it that brought you here tonight? I want you to take a minute and just take a look at what if I could change one thing, if I could ray, uh, wave a magic wand over me, what would be the one thing that I could change uh, for my health? And that's what we want to help you focus on over the next 15 days if you choose to do this course with us. So a lot of people, it might be weight loss. You know, we keep coming back to the fact that it's not necessarily about weight loss, it's about becoming healthier. Weight loss just becomes part of it. And, but if that's your major goal, this is what can help you do it. Um, autoimmune problems, 95% of all Americans have some kind of autoimmune disease. Autoimmune means your body's fighting itself. We'll explain what that is as we go along here. Low energy, who couldn't use more energy? Most of us could. Do you know that 60% of your energy is used to digest the food you put in your body? So 50%, excuse me, 60% of your energies goes to digestion. We're gonna teach you how not to eat as many times a day. Guess what you can do with all that leftover energy? You can use it to heal your body. 
we've th been told that, you know, eat to give you energy. Well, energy is actually, eating is actually taking your energy away. Depending on the foods you put in your body, and you can look at yourself and see, am I inflamed? Do I look puffy? Do I have swollen joints, aches or pains? You have a weakened immune system if you have that. Um, brain fog means, you know, you walk to the other side of the room and you forget why you went there. And uh, that's caused by inflammation and diabetes type 3, which is too much insulin in your body. It's called hyperinsulinemia, um, diabetes, or Alzheimer's disease, diabetes type 3. Anxiety, of course, too much stress. There is so much anxiety in the last, since February, since this happened. I have so many patients coming in, and they are, they've been anxious so long that their adrenal glands they're, that protect you against um, anxiety are basically wearing out. And then you're everything starts to break down when your hormone glands, like your adrenal glands, can't work as well. Disease prevention, that's really what we want. Um, and of course, depression. So those could be some of the reasons that you're here today. Here's a, the uh, um, statistics on this. The United States has the highest obesity level in all of the OECD, which I used to know what that means, but I'll show you those states in a while, those countries. According to the CDC, 58% of, um, 58% overweight or obese in our country. Um, 25 of the adults in California are obese. Obese means 25% above what your weight should be. Now you look at that map of the United States on the left there, and Colorado is yellow. That means Colorado has, is the least amount of overweight people. This graph came out in 2017. When did marijuana get legalized in Colorado? So knowing what marijuana does to make you want to eat, they're probably going to jack that up. We'll see. Um, but here's a list of, of the states. And, and you can go all the way down. The United States is on the bottom. And, um, you know, that's just crazy. We have the most amazing medical system here. We have more drugs than any country in the world. We're only 4% of the world population, but we're, we're not doing well. What's the benefit of that? We're rated 40, 47th percent in the world. 50% of all Americans are diabetic or pre-diabetic. 50% of us. Diabetes is the number one cause of preventable blindness. Cancer, a little misspelling there. Um, it's, diabetes is the number one uh, cause of heart disease. And of course, we know that the first sign of heart disease in 50% of the people is, is death. Heart attacks, kidney failure, limb amputation all from diabetes. So if we don't stop this epidemic of diabetes right now, um, our healthcare system is going to just get worse and worse and worse. More and more uh, costs are gonna be involved. So just think of, about that and what we can do to help people. So it's kind of interesting when you take a look at who heals fastest in our country. You know, it will be the little kid, the young man or the elder gentleman. Obviously, the older gentleman will heal, will take longer to heal. And there's several reasons for that. We all have the same DNA. You, you die with the same DNA you were born with. How come, how do, why do our bodies get weaker and weaker and weaker as we go along, as far as the immune system and we start to age? So there is a way to turn back the biological clock. Um, we, it really has a lot to do with stem cells. And um, we're going to be talking about how your body can make more stem cells in a few minutes here. So this is a study out of Michigan State University. It said uh, this year, by 2020, 81 million Americans will have multiple chronic diseases. So our conditions, what is that? A multiple, a, a chronic condition means it's, you've had it for over uh, three months. So multiple would be three or more. 50% um, of the world... Uh, has chronic disease, and most right now, 99% of the people are not in hospitals or homes. Their family members are taking care of them. Now, if we could change this simply by changing the food we put in our body, understanding what's causing inflammation, chronic inflammation causes chronic disease, then we can change the health of a nation or a world. So we're starting with you, you all, right? This is us. We're going to start hopefully Monday if you decide you want to do this course. It's an amazing course that Liz and, and Taylor put together. And it, it, we're going to have, it's going to be really fun to do.
So chronic inflammation, any newspaper article or magazine article you pick up is going to tell you that chronic inflammation causes chronic disease. So what cro causes chronic inflammation? We can keep throwing medications at all the chronic disease in the world, but if we don't stop the, the uh, upstream problem, we'll, we'll never get healthy. So I, I look at it this way. If you're in a boat and that boat has a leak and then you take a metal bucket and you start bailing out the boat with that metal bucket, that would be like taking a medication, pharmaceutical medication to manage the symptom of a boat filling up with water. If you had a gourd and you started dumping water out of the boat with a gourd, that would be likened to uh, something that grows naturally like a vitamin or a mineral or a supplement that you could take to manage the symptoms that you have from chronic inflammation and chronic disease. Until you go upstream or until you plug the hole, all you're gonna do is manage symptoms. And sometimes people replace um, drugs with vitamins. It, maybe it's a little better, but if you're not solving the problem, you're putting off in the, uh, the inev inevitable, which is more and more um, health problems. So what causes chronic inflammation? Toxins, that's really important. We're gonna be going over that in just a minute here so that you can understand it. So how do toxins affect our body and how do they affect our cell? So I'm gonna stop screen sharing here for a minute and I'm gonna go over to this whiteboard here and I'm going to draw a picture of the cell. If you don't get anything today, get this. This is the most important information that you can get today, okay? So if I draw a cell here, that's a, that's a cell. I hope you guys can see it. And inside the cell is a power plant called the mitochondria. Mitochondria is like the carburetor in your car or it's like the fuel injection system. The only way that you make energy in your body is by giving it fuel. And there's two types of fuel. There's glucose, glucose, or which becomes sugar. And there's ketones, which come from fat. And it, they, they're ketones and they actually, either one of those two fuels can be burned in your, in your body. So what happens is you eat something, sugar, or glucose gets to the cell wall and there is um, something called insulin. So insulin opens the door to let glucose in the cell. It's very, you know, it's very polite. It goes, oh, um, little glucose molecule, allow me to let you into the cell. So glucose opens the door, glucose gets to the mitochondria, it makes energy. Every time you produce energy, there's some kind of byproduct of exhaust or toxins. Those toxins come out of the mitochondria, then they will go out of the cell wall, get into the bloodstream, into your liver or kidney, and out your body. That's a beautiful, uh, Berndt is here, he's always he's German, from Germany, and he drives German cars. I mean, those things run amazingly, right? But what happens when the car starts to break down? You see those cars with blue smoke pouring out of the back and under the hood and it's steaming. You know, is your body running like a German-made car or is it one of those rattle traps going down the road? That tells you how efficient your body's burning fuel. So the thing is that with the toxins in our environment and in our body, as we get uh, more and more toxic, the liver and kidney get overwhelmed and overwhelmed with the 78,000 different chemicals that have been made in, since the Industrial Revolution that our livers have never seen in eons. And now they've got to, they've got to figure out how to um, detoxify those in a heartbeat. So is that Jackie Black? So what happens is those toxins don't get out of our body. And it's like, if you go, don't do this right now, but if you go to your heater and you pull out the air filter in your heater, you're gonna probably feel pretty bad. So that air filter is what happens to our liver and kidney. They get so plugged up that they are not efficient. So your liver and kidney can't clean your, your um, blood as well as it used to. So now you've got dirty, um, blood. So it'd be kind of like if I had a, a bucket of water and a sponge and I started washing the walls and I'm washing the walls and the, wa the dirt water is getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, but I still take the sponge and wash the walls. Pretty soon I'm putting the sponge in dirtier water than the walls. That's kind of what happens when your liver and kidney are trying to clean out your bloodstream, but they're so toxic that they can't do it anymore. 
So you have a backup of these chemicals in your body and they basically make the cell wall swollen. And this is what chronic inflammation is. This whole thing that I've been describing to you is where chronic inflammation comes from. Doesn't matter if it's on connective tissue, it's not alive. It only matters if it's on one of the 75 trillion cells you have in your body. So this is kind of like if you had poison oak on your face, which I've had growing up, my eyes were swollen shut. I have eyes, but I can't see. Um, and you also, I'm also pretty angry, right? Or irritable. So when you have toxins in your body, your body can't function correctly. Basically, you feel terrible. Your energy's down. Blue, one insulin can no longer open that rusty door to let the glucose in. So pretty soon, you've got a, your, this thing called the pancreas producing so much insulin that it's forcing the glucose into the cell. And then it makes energy. And glucose happens to burn like a, a gas or a fireplace filled with smoky pine wood. It doesn't burn very well. Ketones burn like a gas stove. You turn it on and they go real clean. So if you could burn, have a choice of burning really toxic, stinky, smoky fuel or real good, healthy, um, clean burning fuel, which one would you burn? Well, I choose the clean one, okay? And that's called ketones. Now, if you look up ketones in uh, the dictionary, it's gonna tell you, Ketones are the fuel your body burns when there's not enough glucose in your body. That's not a really good definition. It should say ketones are the cleanest burning fuel that allow your body to, to have the energy it needs without the uh, inflammation that's caused by burning a dirty fuel such as glucose. So in the 15-day uh, class, we're going to teach you how to Stop burning all this glucose and no ketones, and we're gonna teach you how to reduce the ketone or the glucose burning fuel foods and increase the ketone burning fuel. So your body can actually start to detoxify and the inflammation will go down. And you, you heard the story about Dean and there's a few other people on this call that have had amazing successes and got off medications by just simply eating a fuel that's not inflammatory. When you eat inflammatory fuel, you're gonna, you know, you're going to become chronically inflamed and chronically diseased. And again, the cause of it is toxins that are stuck in the body. You know, anybody ever watched American Pickers? Anybody ever seen that show? It's pretty funny. These guys go all around the country and look at old barns and they find these old relics. Well, when you think of about a ketone burner, it's like going into an old barn and, and one of the guys goes, Oh, look at this, Joe. It's a ketone burner. You ever seen one of these? Well, I heard about them once. Well, let's see if it works, you know, and you start the darn thing up and pretty soon it's burning clean fuel. Your body does not know how to burn ketones. It's, it's a glucose dependent machine that's it's driving our country to be 47th in the world for health because of what we're putting in our body. So what we want to do is we want to teach you how to clean up the cell wall by cleaning up your diet. And that's the whole thing. If you get that, then you'll, you'll understand why we need to do this. So I'm going to go back to screen sharing here. This is a picture of the cell wall. And uh, you can see where it says mitochondria. That's the, the, what burns the fuel. And you've got a bunch of other uh, parts in there. Now, science is already telling us that some of these other things that they don't even know what they're doing, they're starting to understand what a role they have. But the cell wall is the smartest. Um, it's so amazing. I'm, I'm going to play you a very short clip by Bruce, Dr. Bruce Lipton in a little bit. You can understand how a cell wall is going to make you healthy or sick. It's pretty amazing. Okay, let's go on to the next slide here. So I mentioned before that our DNA is the same DNA that we've had since we were born. Why do we get diseased? How come a DNA gets turned on, a bad gene gets turned on when it's been turned off forever? toxins turn on bad genes. A lot of the chronic diseases, the inflammatory diseases, the genetic diseases can be turned around by cleaning up the cells and, and getting those genes turned off. Now, the reason we know that is because cells live and die, live and die. They have a life cycle. They're, um, there's something that causes them um, programmed cell death. They're only supposed to live for a certain time. A brand new cell is supposed to be made. 
brand new DNA from a brand new stem cell? Why are we continuing to age when it's the same DNA that made the, the very young stem cell? So by getting all of the toxins out of our body and eating a clean diet, we can actually start to create younger organs and younger um, bodies. You may or may not know what a telomere is. A telomere is this little antenna on the end of each of your DNA. It's like if you go down to a pond and you find those ancient um, prehistoric uh, cattails uh, or horse tails that you pull apart segment by segment by segment, that's like a telomere. A telomere, every time a cell divides, a telomere gets shorter and shorter and shorter. They can tell how much life you have left in you by how the length of your telomeres. And so, you know, when you're tel out of telomeres, you're out of beer. <laughs> when you're out of such, you're out of beer. When you're out of telomeres, you're, you know, you're done. Um, this is interesting. I had my telomeres checked. I'm 60, I was 63 years old. And when this is done, I'm 64 now. If you look at the bottom, it says my telomere age is 42. So my cells think they're 42, but my calendar years say I'm 63. Now, I've been taking care of my body a lot for a long time. So you can get your telomeres checked really easily. You go to teleyears.com, and it costs 90 bucks, and they're going to give you a, a – you prick your finger, and they'll tell you. So is it a good thing or a bad thing that I'm 42 when I'm 63? Okay. Oh, I want to go back one. Well, the, the, the thing is, if, I'm, if my body thinks it's 42 years old and I don't clean my brain up and I don't take care of my heart, my lungs, and all of my joints, I could, I could live to be in my 90s. My dad was 91, his brother 93, his two sisters 98, and his dad 97. And I found a letter from a great grandmother who wrote a letter at 100. So I'm going to live for a while. If I don't clean up my brain now, I may live to be that age, but I won't know about it. I won't be able to talk to anybody, and I'm going to probably be, you know, in terrible shape. So good thing or bad thing that I'm a, I have a 42-year-old telomeres? I think it's a good thing as long as I take care of my body. And what we're showing you tonight is going to help you do that. And I, I see there's a lot of people joining in. At the end of this, on August 5th, 17th, Monday, we're doing a 15-day challenge. We're going to take you through everything that you need to do to get this turned around and change your lifestyle. So um, we'll walk you through that at near the end. The three main things that are going to cause me or any of us to not have health, they're going to turn on bad genes, it's going to turn on autoimmune diseases, it's going to put cause cancers in our body, or any of those unmentionable things, are the three major killers, and they're mold, heavy metals, and hidden infections. So those are the three things. Heavy metals from the lead generation that I grew up in, uh, from the mercury in our teeth, from the aluminum in our underarm deodorant, um, from the things that we get in the flu vaccination and all these things, they build up to us, and they're gonna, they cause us to become sick at one point, we hit a turning point, and that's when things start to go downhill. So I asked you early on what made you decide to join this. Maybe you were just interested in changing your diet. Maybe you just were interested in finding out what a good keto diet is, because there's bad ketones, a bad ketone diet, and a good ketone diet. We call it dirty, 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 keto. dirty keto. Thank you. That's why I have my admin here to help me with a word now and then. Thank you so much, Taylor. And... Uh, but what is your reason now? Have you changed it? Has this maybe given you a little more impetus to take the effort to change some things in your life that could drastically change your health? And a boost your immune system because you know the corona thing isn't going away. And until um, we get truth or consequences, it's an old TV show, until we get the complexity out of there and find out what the real true data is, then we can only depend on ourselves to be healthy. So that's up to us, and that's why I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, so is it possible to reverse the aging process? Yeah, it is. You can reverse your aging process. And um, that's something we'll be teaching in the course. Signs point to yes. You remember your old eight ball? I always used to love those things. It took me a little while to find that, by the way. So here's, here's the real crux of the whole thing here. How full is your cup? Is it half full or completely full? That 
is your toxic load cup. So when your toxic load is to the point where it's the brim is it's up to the brim, this means that one more drop of toxins is going to put you into a disease state. It's going to turn on bad genes. It's going to create cancer cells in your body. It's going to overwhelm your immune system so it can no longer fight um, or rise above. I don't like the word fight, but rise above anything that it's confronted with. Now, on the left, the cup is half full. That means this person can handle a lot of stresses in their life. They can have maybe some mental stress. They can do physical exertion beyond what they should be doing. They can maybe still um, eat bad food or, or be exposed to bad toxins in their environment. And they have a, a high resiliency to that. But the one on the right that's filled, as soon as they hit that point, the tipping point, they are now in a disease state. And it could become chronic and it could be deadly. So uh, one of the things I talk about in the other class, but we know that heavy metals like mercury go four generations down through your, um, through your mom's umbilical blood. So you might think, well, I don't have a lot of mercury or lead, but lead is stored in the spinal bones. And so when mom is making a new baby and pulling calcium out of the bones, lead comes with it and it gets passed down into the um, baby's umbilical blood. There's 278 different chemical compounds they've found in babies, the umbilical blood. So you don't come into this life with a perfect chance either. What we do is we check mom. So, you know, I kind of mentioned in passing the magic pill, I often say, look, if I could, if you could find a magic pill that would immediately handle all of your health problems, your weight problems, your mental problems, your stress problems, and your money problems, who wouldn't want that pill? The problem is it doesn't exist. And as much as some of the people talk about a, a vaccine that's going to come, you know, if you look at the statistics, right now we know that there was a 20% 20, 20 adverse reaction to the one that came out of Moderna. Uh, that means that out of 7 billion people on the planet, 20% of them are going to have a bad effect, and some of them might be really bad. So don't count on that. I mean, if you choose to get a vaccine when it comes out, that's up to you. But I think that you're a lot better, better off making your body healthy the right way. You know, um, it's kind of funny. A lot of people will go, you know, worry about having their mask on as they're standing in line getting ice cream and they're 20, 30, 40 pounds overweight. I mean, you have worse chance of being, getting, being attacked by the virus if you're overweight and eating sugar, <laughs> you know? So if you want to uh, uh, make sure that you don't get this thing, Get your weight under control through the intermittent fasting workshop diet and quit eating sugar, quit eating processed flour. We're going to go all over that in the 15-day class. So, you know, uh, the average American by the time they're 54 years old has had 18 different medications prescribed to them in their lifetime. And the older you get, the more they are. Managing chronic inflammation, managing chronic disease, and managing, you know, not going after the upstream cause. And that's what we know. Science has taken us there. We know how to do that now. They may not know where Corona's coming from or whether masks work or not or isolation or what have you, but we do know that toxins cause chronic inflammation, which makes your immune system weak. So what is innate intelligence anyway? I read about that in my beginning paper. Your body has this amazing innate intelligence. It's probably the, the greatest physician that ever walked the earth is right inside of you. It knows what to do. You get a splinter, immediately starts turning on your immune system. So, um, you know, or anytime you get the sniffles or something like that, your body's immediately going to turn that on. And if, if you are, your body's too busy fighting all the internal toxins, it sees that other invading bacteria or virus or parasite, and it goes, I can't handle anymore, and you get sick. So we're gonna teach you how to free up your immune system so that you can get healthy. So the 15 day challenge again, it's um, August 17th. You can sign up at the end of this course if you want, it's $149. You'll save that much on food because we're gonna teach you how to intermittent fast. And uh, it's, it's an amazing course and Liz will talk about it near the end. I just highly recommend you guys do it. If you're an alumni, we have a special price for you. So just call up or, or it, um, email info at mccollumwellness.com, info at mccollumwellness, and you can find out about that. Um, so I'm gonna go over the five steps that we're gonna do here briefly. So the ketogenic diet, 
is a fat generated diet. And we know that ketones burn healthy and cleanly in the body. The brain's made of fat. It loves burning ketones. It does not like burning sugar. It's smoky and toxic. Um, one of the things when you sign up on the course, I would try to pull it up here, but it's a list of all the healthy oils that you can take, like avocado oil, like ghee butter, like organic butter, like uh, coconut oil, like um, um, avocado oil, if I didn't say that. Those are the oils that are making up your cell wall. And that's what we want you to, to learn how to do by changing over into a ketogenic diet. That's predominantly healthy oils, low protein, low carbs. Because protein burns like glucose, it's inflammatory, just like um, carbs. So everything from a French fry to broccoli to you know, filet mignon, all of that burns like sugar, it's all inflammatory. We want you to limit that, get the inflammation out of your body and start eating a keto friendly diet. And that's, uh, we're gonna teach you that. So there's five common roadblocks to this and you're gonna learn about if I'm not getting into ketosis, what are the roadblocks? Um, I don't have time to go into them all right now, and it's too much information anyway. So um, I just want you to know you're going to find out how to make this happen. And some of you are going to have easier times than the others, but it can be done. We're going to teach you about intermittent fasting. I mentioned before that 60% of your energy is used to digest food. So Western medicine says if you have diabetes, to eat six times a day. So every time you put a nut in your mouth, you're causing insulin to be produced in your body. 60% of your energy is going to go try to digest that food. We're going to teach you safely. And of course, you if you have a problem that you got to talk to a medical doctor about, you can do that. Definitely do it. Talk to us about it so we can help guide you. But if we all of a sudden have you have a block of time that you're not eating, say 12 hours a day, heck, you go to bed at 6, you wake up at 6, that's 12 hours right there. If you can stretch it out to lunch, that's 16 hours. You actually have given your body 16 hours to start to heal itself. And we're gonna teach you how to do that safely and in a way that's gonna make your body strong and build your immune system. Diet variation. One of the main things, realize how many people have done any kind of diet that's come on throughout the years, did great for two, three months, and then it just stopped working because the body needs to vary its diet. We'll go over what diet variation is because you know you can't, you can't be in ketosis all the time. Ketosis breaks down, um, causes your body to break down old cells and you need to build new cells. So you gotta go in and out of anything. The body wants all these challenges so it will survive and be tough. So ancient healing strategies is you know, in the old days we would go get a mammoth and it might take you three months to get that mammoth course, poor mammoths. But then what you do, the tribe would come and eat the mammoth for two months and they would render the fat. And then winter would come and they'd go live in a cage, excuse me, a cave. And then they would eat the rendered fat and any nuts and roots they had. So the microbiome that would digest protein would be starved down now, but the ones that like the fat would be increased. So ancient healing strategies, we're going to really give you the data you need to understand how to make the microbiome in your body healthy. Cellular detoxification. What's that say? Do you have to? Oh, do I have to know how to cook? Somebody asked. We'll go over that in a second. Cellular detoxification. This is what I was talking about with the cell here so that we can actually get your body, um, get the toxins out of your cell. I'm going to play a short one minute video from Dr. Bruce Lipton. He's an amazing scientist. I want you to listen to this one minute and this should tell you how a toxic cell and a healthy cell differ. And so here we go. So hopefully it will play. In each one of us, there are 46. Right there. Get it for all of us to understand is that if you put a culture dish of cells into an adverse environment, then what would happen is that those cells would actually get sick and start to die. And if you take that very same culture dish and move it into a healthy environment, the same cells would immediately recover and start to proliferate and the cultures will flourish. The relevance about all this is that we go back to the nature of a human being and recognize that containing 50 trillion cells, the human body is essentially a skin-covered Petri dish. If you take your human 
petri dish body and put it into an adverse environment, it will cause the cells to get sick and to actually begin to die. And yet, if you take that same skin-covered body and put it into a healthy environment, the cells will rapidly recover and begin to flourish again. So the important reality is that our state of health or disease is really a reflection of the environment that we live in and the environment that we perceive. So that was Bruce Lipton, and hopefully that makes sense to you. Now I'm gonna see if I can get back to my um, show. I don't wanna watch any more. Stop spending hours every day. Stop that. Stop the screen share. There we go. Okay, so I think that Dr. Lipton really explained the everything that we need to understand here is if we can get our bodies clean and healthy, then our bodies are going to treat us well and we're going to enjoy a healthy lifestyle. Um, let's see if I can get back to the slideshow. I think I can. Um, there we go. So how can we get our bodies strong enough to fight the viruses? You're not sharing your screen. I'm not sharing my screen? Okay, thank you. Okay. A little technical difficulty here. Okay, good. There we go. We'll go back to Zoom. Huh? Oh, Zoom. This is why, okay. Share screen. Thank you. And here we go. Thanks. Okay. And then I'll put that into um, slide. I can't make it. How do I make it large? Oh, all right. Presenter. No. Or play from current slide. Oh, yeah, there we go. Play from current slide. Okay, thank you. All right, sorry, guys. So, how do we get our body strong enough to fight off the virus? How do we increase our immune system? We do this by doing exactly the five steps that I'm going to show you during the 15-day uh, challenge. Out of this, you're going to understand for a lifetime how to fish rather than be given a fish. We're going to teach you the steps to get your body into ketosis, we'll teach you when to go into ketosis and out of it, and get you really comfortable with intermittent fasting. And um, so it should be really fun. This is, uh, we've all been here, we've all eaten these kind of foods, and this is what's making us unhealthy and sick. Um, so I mentioned toxins, the toxic chemical row, and I, you want to start to look around your house and find out do I have raid in my house? Do I have, you know, other pesticides? Do I have chlorine under the sink that I'm breathing all the time? All these chemicals in these uh, women's products here, none of them have to be tested uh, by the FDA does not require that they're tested because they don't go in the body. And everybody knows that when you put something on your skin, it does not get absorbed into your body, right? I don't think so. You can put so many topical things on now. So all of these companies are getting away with putting amazing amount of toxins in you. But look at the deodorant. Does it have aluminum in it? Look at what you're cooking with, what kind of oils you're cooking with. And in our course, we're going to give you a lot of that information. As soon as you sign up for the course, you're going to get emails with a ketogenic diet or ketogenic books, shopping lists, um, and it's put together really well. Now we all know that glyphosate, hopefully you know that Roundup and glyphosate are destroying um, our <laughs> intestines, they're destroying our gut. They uh, break apart what's called the gut barrier, allowing larger particles to get into our bloodstream. And we also know that it causes cancer. And um, stores like Costco stop carrying um, glyphosate, which my, my hat's off to them. That's amazing. So any grains that are non-organic grown in America are liberally sprayed with glyphosate. You can just look that up for yourself. You do not want to eat non-organic food. When you're eating non-organic food, you're causing inflammation in your body. It might be cheaper, maybe, but in the cost of your long-term health, it's going to kill you. Okay. Here's Dr. Jason Fung. Now, this guy, uh, he's one of the authorities on diabetes. He wrote the, the Diabetic Code the obesity code, the um, complete flat fast or complete diet, for, what is it? The fasting complete, I forget what it's called. The diet, the book on fasting. No, she didn't put it up. So I'm going to play this um, because if you listen to this guy, he's an expert. He's treated thousands of people with diabetes and he changed because of this exact reason. 
Dr. Fung is an amazing doctor, uh, nephrologist, who's really uh, breaking amazing ground with diabetes. And he has uh, been embracing the nation with um, fasting and how we can actually, through fasting, reverse type 2 diabetes. So we're really glad to have you here. And I thought Thank maybe you. you could just mention a few things about it. Yeah, it's uh, not very hard to understand because if you don't eat, then your body is going to need to use up that glucose because yeah. it's an energy source. So if you don't eat, your blood sugar will fall. Everybody knows that. So then why can't we use that as a therapeutic option? Because now you've got a, a sort of treatment that's 100% natural, completely free, and wouldn't that be better to do than to go see your doctor and take expensive medications that have potential side effects. Uh, and, and that's the real thing, is that it, this, this represents a new option for people that a lot of people haven't thought about before. And it's like, if, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, you really haven't lost anything. Like, you don't eat for, for a few hours. That's, that's mm -hmm. the only thing. You're hungry for a little bit. But you haven't lost anything. But if it works for you, it really can change your life because that type 2 diabetes can cause so many diseases, right? It can cause heart disease and kidney disease and blindness and stroke. Yeah, number and one cause of kidney failure too, right? Exactly, and it's no fun. And at that yeah. point, if you develop all those diseases, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that people always think is that, well, you know, I can go get some insulin from my doctor. Right. And the problem with that is that, yes, you can get insulin from your doctor. It won't make you healthier. Mm -hmm. That's the point that if you have uh, type 2 diabetes and you take all these medications, you don't actually prevent any heart disease or strokes or anything like that. The insulin doesn't make it better because it doesn't get rid of the sugar. Yeah, and that you were mentioning system. too that insulin, I mean, most people have a problem with too much insulin anyway. Yeah. So when you said, why the heck would you give somebody more insulin if their problem is too much insulin in the first place? Exactly. And the insulin, as everybody who takes it knows, causes weight gain. You take insulin, you gain weight. Well, how is that going to make your diabetes? Well, it's going to make it worse. Mm -hmm. So you're taking a drug that, yes, your sugars will get better, but your underlying disease is going to get worse. Right. And it's like year after year, you're just giving yourself more medications. And guess what? That's exactly what we saw. So, you, you know, in the standard treatment, then the scary part, of course, is that you could go to 99% of doctors, even at like the fanciest medical schools, and they'll treat you exactly the same. So they'll give you first a drug and another drug, then insulin, more insulin, more insulin. Right. And they think that they're doing great, but, you know, at the end of the day, they've got their heart disease, they've got their strokes, they've got their kidney disease. They haven't actually done anything. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you Thank coming you. here. You've helped so many people. Thank and you so it's much. It's really great. Thanks. Thank you. If any of you uh, see me there, you can tell that I'm about 30 pounds lighter because that was just in the beginning of 2018, the number one search word on health on the internet was um, intermittent fasting. So this stuff kind of really hit. We jumped in with Dr. Dan Papa, who I'll be interviewing on KSCO this Saturday at three o'clock, KSCO.com. Dr. Dan Pompa's basically put this whole program together. And um, so, yeah, so I'm down to my high school weight. It's pretty amazing to be there. This gentleman won the Nobel Prize in 2016, Dr. Yushinori Asumi for this term called autophagy. And I'm gonna do a lot of explaining of what autophagy is. It's self-eating. Auto means self and phagy means eating. Autophagy is when your body goes, and like Dr. Fung was talking about, when you don't eat, your body's gonna go around and find food stored in your body. It's gonna, it's gonna get those weak senile cells called senescent cells that should have died a long time ago. It's gonna get the bad microbiome. It's gonna look for anything that's not working synergistically with your body and attack it and break it down and take all of the components out of there. One of the things that we're gonna teach you at the end of this is a 30 hour fast. You go, whoa, 30 hour fast, why would I wanna do that? What's my body going to do? You have every vitamin, mineral, and element in your body in abundance. Your, your body knows exactly where to get it, and it's going to take a, a bad, unhealthy cell, and if it has a, a vitamin K in there, it's going to go break down that worthless cell and get the vitamin K out of it. It's the, most, it's the greatest physician that ever lived, and we're going to teach you how to use it. Stem cell production. Stem cells. We, when, when egg and sperm came together, that was a stem cell. Those stem cells, one cell divided up into over 200 different type of cells make up our body. And a stem cell, we still have them in our body. And 
uh, when we fast, we break down a 30 hour fast, you're breaking down uh, a lot of the old bad weak cells through autophagy and your body's ramping up the stem cell production to make new healthy cells with young DNA in it. So that's one way we, we turn back the biological clock is we don't let your cells get so old. We keep bringing in new healthy cells. Fasting also will, has been proven to lengthen your telomeres, those things that tell you how long you're going to live. So it's pretty cool. And you're going to learn this in the 15-day class. I really hope you join and sign up. Dr. Walter Longo from uh, the University of Southern California is the gentleman that found out after a 30-hour fast, your uh, stem cell production is at its highest. And we're going to go over all those uh, charts with you and, and make sure you understand that. Uh, he was just given $41 million by NIH, National Institute of Health, to continue to study this fasting idea and how to produce more stem cells in the body. So I want you to think about feeling like your young self again, not your old self again, because this is something you can do. So if this has been making sense, then um, I, I really hope that you just join us for this incredibly fun class. There's a lot of alumni on the call today. Um, we have so much fun in, in these workshops. And I'm gonna have Liz explain what it looks like in a minute. Um, to answer the question on do you have to cook? No, you don't. There's actually a company, remember where um, that one person, I think it was, um, Scott, she, yeah, he was ordering, and Scott's on the call here. Maybe you can type it in the chat, Scott. It's like you can order all the keto-friendly food and have it delivered to your house. So you can put together a keto-friendly um, recipe they give you a week they, they so you don't have to cook but you don't have to eat food that's going to make you more inflamed make you more debilitated make you more likely to get chronic disease so very good so this is an overview of the course Liz do you want to um, jump on and kind of talk to them about how the course is going to work sure hi everyone uh, this is Liz and um, as Dr. McCollum said, we set up a 15-day challenge course um, with a great online portal. Um, now everything needs to be a little bit more online. So if you are an alumni and returning to this course uh, or returning these concepts for the first time, what you'll discover this time is that every day um, Dr. McCollum's put together content that you'll be getting through email and that you can log on um, every day to get information about um, new lessons, what to expect for that day, um, and just different resources to help you along the way. Um, and there also will be five Zoom calls with Dr. McCollum. So that's um, the first class is going to kick off on August 17th at 7 p.m. Um, and, and the other four classes are the following. It's Monday and Thursday of every week until the last day of August 31st. So um, kicking off on this Monday the 17th and wrapping up um, the 31st. Um, and so you'll see that um, on the right hand side of the screen here, you'll see kind of what the, the overview of the online class portal looks like. Um, and you can see it's really simple, easy to navigate. Day one, this is what your goals are. Day two, this is what your goals are. Day three, um, Dr. McCollum has so many great videos that he's done about you know, diving deeper into each of these topics. So it's really up to you to decide how much further beyond those um, five Zoom calls that you want to go. Um, but we have all the resources here to support your journey along the way. Um, and of course, if you have questions um, while you're completing the course, you can always email our team um, at info at and we'll get back to you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, Liz and Taylor did amazing jobs getting this going. And so just so you know, the first day will be next Monday. And we're going to basically give you uh, like some of the goals for the course. Like the, the basic goal is if you get to a 30 hour fast or not, you don't have to because you can stretch it out and we'll, we'll help you through that. But every few days we're going to go, this is our goal for the next three days. And then we get together, you can ask all the questions you want. And then we're gonna go for the next part and the next part. And it's, it's laid out really well. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, we're gonna be doing um, more of these. We're gonna probably do one every two months of um, something similar or a different type of, of course, because we wanna help you um, become healthy when you're locked home. And this is something you can do at home and, and just find out about it. So 
the you you can go to uh, mccollumwellness.com is that the best way to do it liz and hit reserve my spot you can sign up and immediately you'll be getting a lot of different stuff. Liz, why don't you tell them what they'll be getting and maybe walk them through what they need to do. Sure. Yeah. So to register, um, it's exactly as Dr. McCollum said, just go to our website, which is listed at the top of the screen there. It's www.mccollumwellness.com. And at the very top of the page, you'll see a button that says keto, my clean spot. keto cookbook. And when you do that, um, um, you, there's a place where you can purchase the course there. On, and then right um, immediately right from there, you'll be able to access the um, online uh, course portal that day. I showed you before. You'll also get a recommended um, and you'll start keto shopping list. list. So the couple um, things and some, you've, some um, worksheets to start thinking through your um, purpose for the course and really how, you know, what you start thinking through what you want to accomplish in the next 15 days. Um, and then, like I said, every day you'll start getting more and more resources. So when we introduce things like how to add more healthy fats into your diet, um, there's the worksheet to help you track that. Or if you're looking at, um, you know, as we're introducing intermittent fasting and, and looking at limiting your eating window, um, there's a helpful worksheet to help you track that as well. So really every, every point that you're going to learn in this course, the idea is to give you as many resources as possible. So you can continue to take the learnings from this course on and, and live, the, live your life by them. So it, um, you know, there's a lot of great content and um, we're here to support you as well. Yeah, and I just want to um, show you, here's the part of the 15 day clean keto recipe put that Taylor put together. And it's gonna show you, like we mentioned the oils, there's all the healthy oils that you need right there. You'll get this immediately. And um, all of the different, you know, there's some really great um, other stuff in there. So at any rate, I think that we put together a great program for you. Um, I hope that you all do the course. And again, you, uh, anybody that's alumni, uh, email Liz at info at McCollumwellness.com. So she'll get you guys in at the alumni price. Um, we start on the 15th or the 17th. So anybody else you know who you want to do this, if you have friends in other states or other cities. This is, you know, they don't have to be local to make this happen. The more the better. Um, let's change the health of people and give people their freedom by knowing that their immune system is strong again. So I really appreciate it. I think we're coming to the end of the hour here. You guys have been awesome. And I really hope that we see all of you um, on Monday night, the 17th.